So I got a comment on Instagram that really made me think. Somebody said that because I got vaccinated and then I got COVID, that means the vaccines don't work. And my initial reaction was a gut reaction saying, well, that's ludicrous. But upon further review, it makes sense how somebody without medical training might actually think that. So let's talk about why that's wrong. First, let's talk about how the vaccine works. It's an mRNA vaccine. Essentially, what it does is it allows your own cells to create a protein. Now, it's this spike protein that everybody's been freaking out about for the last year and a half. But what they did was they made it a kind of an attenuated version of that spike protein. It's actually non-cytotoxic, so it doesn't hurt your cells. The vaccine then gets degraded over the course of a handful of hours, and then it goes away and you don't do that anymore. But what's left is that circulating protein that your body understands is not your normal protein, it's not your body's protein, so it goes and kills it. What's better is it remembers whatever that is and makes antibodies against it. Fast forward a little bit, you still have circulating antibodies and your body remembers what that is in case it needs to make new antibodies later. So now fast forward to my experience. A little bit more than eight months after I got vaccinated, I got COVID. Did the vaccine not actually work? No, I think it did work. I still had antibodies circulating in my blood, probably not as many as I had like five or six months ago, but I still had some in there. So those antibodies were able to bind to the virus and prevent the virus from entering my cells in some fashion. Now, obviously some of the virus got past the antibodies that I had and ended up infecting me. So how did the vaccine actually work for me? Well, it limited the amount of virus that got into my cells, giving my body time to create new antibodies to kill the virus. The antibodies I still had from getting vaccinated a bunch of months ago still were able to bind to the virus and prevent it from entering my cells. Now, obviously not all the viral particles got taken out, but the vaccine did slow the attack on my cells by this virus. By doing so, it allowed my body to remember exactly what it was looking for and produce new antibodies. Remember, you have two parts of your immune system, your innate and adaptive immune system. The innate immune system is just fevers and chills and all that basic stuff, but your adaptive immune system is what remembers the antibodies to produce them at a later date, which is exactly what I had. Remember, the vaccine doesn't give you the antibodies. It gives you the protein so that you can go make antibodies against the protein so you can have those antibodies in your memory cells for later. So what does all this mean? Well, the vaccine didn't stop me from getting infected, obviously, but what it did do is it likely limited the rate of cellular infection, allowing my body to fight the virus before I got really sick or worse. So yeah, vaccines work.